unfortunately has a, another commitment um, at uh, 10 to 9, so he pretty much has to say a few remarks and then leave, but he will be joining us later in the program and throughout uh, Friday if, if time allows him. Um, just to say good morning and welcome to the first uh, Safety and Violence Initiative Homicide Colloquium. Um, I'm glad you all can be here, so a warm welcome, even though the room's a little bit chilly, but hopefully it'll warm up during the day. Um, I'm going to say a few things after Professor Moll has spoken, but he's going to speak for about five minutes or so. And then, as just to emphasize, he does need to go, but he will be back to join us in a few other sessions as well. Um, Professor Moll is uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Cape Town, newly appointed in a sort of acting capacity, given that uh, Professor Crane Sardin, um, who was the Vice Chancellor responsible for transformation, has been UCT's last, but he's the Human Sciences Research Council's gain. So he's uh, moved over to become the, the, the head of the HSRC. Um, but Professor Moll has a, has a very um, auspicious and uh, uh, prominent background. He is a professor and senior uh, specialist scientist. He's the former head of surgical research in the Division of General Surgery at the University of Cape Town and the Faculty of Health Sciences. As chair of the Department of, uh, Department of Surgery Research Committee, uh, he also has a, a, a long history in working with students that he's been chair of the Residences Academic Affairs Development Committee, um, and he's also co-chair of the Residence Forum of UCT, and he's been uh, um, also chair of the College of Wardens. So he's worked a lot with students, and he's dealt a lot with um, uh, research in the kind of biochemistry area, but he's also engaged and thought a lot on violence as well. So it's quite appropriate that he's been appointed as the a, as a Deputy Vice-Chancellor to be responsible for the Safety and Violence Initiative. So I'd like to hand over to Anwa um, to make a few remarks. Thank you. Good morning, all, and, and, and thank you very much, Guy, for that introduction. Um, I want to congratulate Guy and uh, his colleagues for actually hosting the first South African Homicide Research Colloquium. But that's not only the first that's happening this morning. There's another first. You're being spoken to by a mucus biochemist, somebody who spent his life at a laboratory bench and coming here and opening a little workshop on, 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 on violence, which is quite strange. I remember a parent coming to see me once and saying to me, you got my daughter interested in saliva. My God. So this is quite new, but thank you very much. You know, I've always been um, fascinated by the way violence, where does violence come from? And I've had these few chats with Guy and his colleagues, and I've been terribly impressed by the work they do and the insight they have into this. Now, in 1859, Charles Darwin wrote his Origin of the Species, where he described uh, evolution and natural selection. And he put humankind neatly into the animal kingdom. And he described this process as nature read in tooth and claw. And out of that, out of that mess came us. And we've had a history of violence. I mean, it, it, it must go back from the time Homo sapiens was born on this planet. And ironically, ironically, the worst violence in our history took place in the 20th century. And that was the century which is described as the most progressive century for humankind. So from Darwin onwards, we had Sigmund Freud, we had Einstein describing the atom at, one e at the beginning of the 20th century. And at the other end, we knew all about DNA and the human genome was mapped. And yet, in that very century, we had two world wars, we had apartheid, we had Vietnam, we had Bosnia, we had the birth of the Taliban, we had dictatorships in Africa. We had the Russian Revolution, and it's been bloodshed. And one wonders why. What is it about us that we cannot live with one another? Now, the left movements in the 20th century had this idea of the noble savage. They said uh, early peoples were very peaceful. And that's not true. Stephen Pinker has thrashed that idea in his blank slate. What Stephen Pinker has said in his blank slate and in How the Mind Works is that we are hardwired to be brutal and we are hardwired to be loving. And given the right set of circumstances, we express exactly how we feel. 
Another dimension of violence that's always interested me is political violence. I find that somehow or the other, people justify violence when it's politically motivated. In fact, when people talk about war, they talk about heroism, but they never talk about the waste of life and the brutality of war. And it's in this book here. We had a, we had a philosopher from London not long ago, Jonathan Glover, who wrote this book, Humanity, A Moral History of the 20th Century. And he's done a study in which he's linked the personal or the personality to political violence. And he's discussed people like Pol Pot, Adolf Hitler, and, 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 and the whole idea is imagine somebody being violent by nature and becoming a leader and the ravages that they can cause through, through the entire, entire population. So I don't know much about this, but I am thankful to Guy for having be given, been given the opportunity to actually sit and listen to him and find out exactly what he's doing. And I want to wish Guy and his team very well, and I want to wish all of you a lovely workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anwar, for those brief and insightful comments. Usually when we kick off conferences, we sometimes get speakers who go on for, for hours and hours and put our program behind. So thank you, thank you, Anwar, for being brief and to the point, and also for kind of focusing this particular colloquium where we want it to be. So, I mean, for those of you who know a little bit about the Safety and Violence Initiative, um, we are based at the University of Cape Town. It's one of the university's strategic initiatives that the current Vice Chancellor, Max Price, put together to look at cross-cutting issues that are seen as a priority for South Africa, as a priority socio-economic political issue. And the idea of something like the Safety and Violence Initiative is for it not to be a research center or research unit, um, or for it to be an academic department, but for it to be a, a word that um, a number of my colleagues use, a fulcrum, a place that kind of brings academics, students, researchers, policymakers, uh, activists together, kind of from across the disciplines, from, a, from various um, areas um, of specialization to look at things that um, are kind of cut across these particular issues. And so certainly safety and violence is one of these things. And this colloquium is, you know, is a result of a number of conversations that have been happening at UCT and within the Safety and Violence Initiative um, conversations in the steering committee and with other people around what should be a big program, what should be a big focus for Savvy going forward. And the idea was we didn't want to compete, duplicate what was happening um, in parts of the university or in, in, other, in other places and other universities through, through South, throughout South Africa. We were looking for something that we could kind of push forward that not a lot of work was being done on from an interdisciplinary point of view. And the decision we came to was that we should look at homicide. We knew that the Medical Research Council was doing quite a bit of work on this, um, but you know, focusing at, you know, from a number of disciplines po point of view, but we saw at UCT we could bring a lot of uh, focus from other disciplines to this particular area and look at it from, from different perspectives as well. Um, so we saw this as something as a comparative advantage and to try and get a, um, a homicide interdisciplinary research program going that would then engage with people within UCT but also outside and look at how can we assist in kind of pushing in a research agenda forward on homicide. But the point that has been emphasized and the point that when we put out the call for, for abstracts for this particular event was that homicide is the hook. We can't look at homicide without understanding other forms of violence. You know, homicide being th there is a body, but there's other, in, in other cases when we see injuries, that you know, there's some people get hurt, and in some cases, those person, those people get hurt and actually die. So it's this kind of sense of around homicide is the hook. But we want, we, in order to understand homicide, we need to understand other forms of violence as well. So it's not we try not to be exclusionary here, but the point is we were trying to look for for some particular focus. So as if you see in at, towards the end of the program, we would like to have a discussion at the end. We want to be inclusive. We want to kind of find out what people's ideas are about setting up some form of interdisciplinary program on homicide and how we want to take this forward. So we've sort of got a brainstorming session at the, unfortunately it happens on a Friday afternoon right at the end of the conference, um, but we'd really welcome your ideas and how to take this forward. Because as savvy, we are, you know, in terms of people, we're fairly 
um, dedicated staff were fairly small. So we rely on researchers and academics and, and postgraduate students that are out there to, to, to want to become involved in this particular process. Um, and just in the sense of um, just taking you forward on this particular program, I'm not going to say much more on homicide because it's pretty much we're all here because you realize how problematic homicide, murder, violence is in South Africa, so I'm not going to go through the stats. But the program itself is, um, as you can see, it's we've tried to um, take all the different papers and, and cluster them into themes. And some of them have more papers than others. Um, so some sessions will be a bit longer than others. And obviously, we're not going to cover the full gambit of homicide in this particular colloquium, but it's a particular start. And we're really looking forward to some critical conversations, some, um, some focused conversations. We're looking forward to some great ideas hopefully coming out of here. Um, the point of this particular uh, colloquium as well is really to try and figure out, you know, what do we know about homicide in South Africa? Where are the research, comparative research strengths? Where are the gaps? How can we try and address those particular gaps? But this is very much a starting point. So um, it's, it's a fairly kind of modest type of event. We didn't have much money to get it started, so unfortunately we had to charge you to come to cover our costs. Um, but hopefully if, we, if we're able to get this particular program um, going into the future, that our future events will, will be sponsored and we won't require people to actually pay to come. Um, so just to say, you're very welcome. Thank you for being here. I hope you can stay the full two days. I know some people have responsibilities. They need to go and go out to various other, other commitments. So um, please, if you need to go out, do that. But you're very welcome to come back um, and, and re-engage. I know we have about 50 or so people that are here. Hopefully a, a few more people will join us too. Um, but also we, we look like we have a very exciting program, so I'm very much looking forward to hearing people. Um, I don't know if there are any comments or questions. I see we've got about 15 minutes left, so might, since we're a fairly small group, it might be useful just to do a round of introductions so we know who everyone is. And um, do we have a roving mic to do that? Okay, so maybe if we can start here and just work our way around the room and start at this table. I'm Sean Kaliski. I'm a forensic psychiatrist and I run the Forensic Mental Health Service in the Western Cape. I'm Rico Rosa from um, Ball University of Technology, lecturer on policing. My name is Annika Eichstedt, and I'm doing my master's in criminology, law, and society at UCT. I'm Mandy Day Chung. I'm a forensic pathologist at UCT, Salt River Mortuary. My name is Laura Heathfield. I'm a lecturer at UCT in the area of forensic genetics. My name is Bronwyn Davies. I'm a forensic toxicologist at UCT and Western Cape Forensic Pathology Services. I'm Melani Moon. I'm from the University of Pretoria. I'm a lecturer and a researcher there. I'm Vanessa Borowski. I'm from the Democracy and Governance Program of the Human Sciences Research Council. I'm Mandy Alblas from Stellenbosch University, lecturer in biological anthropology. I'm Calvin Moll. I'm a lecturer and researcher in the Division of Forensic Medicine, UCT. Hi, I'm Marie Sainz. I'm the convener of a, of a master's course in forensic science in the Forensic Medicine Department, or rather division, at UCT. I'm Anse Wichers. I'm, I'm a master's student in forensic science. Hi, I'm Nandi Slavitt, and I'm also a master's student in forensic science. Hello, I'm Courtney Clark, also a master's student of <laughs> forensic science at UCT. Hi, my name is Dela Guala and I'm a research assistant at SAVI. Hi, I'm Shaini Gatton and also a research assistant at SAVI. Morning, Laura Freeman, program officer at the Safety and Violence Initiative. Hi, my name is Giselle Wharton, and I'm a project assistant at SAVI. Good morning, I'm Dan Hartford, and I'm also a research assistant at SAVI. Hi, my name is Giselle Moller. I am a registrar in the Department of Forensic Pathology at UCT. I'm 
I'm Diana Jane Lanyon. I'm a forensic medical officer with the Office of Human Trafficking. Hi, my name is Kelly Gillespie. Um, I teach at WITS University in the Anthropology Department. Good morning, I'm Lucas Munting from the Dalla Omar Institute at the University of the West UK. I'm Julie Bird from the Center of Criminology at UCT. I'm Alviena van der Spey, also from the Center of Criminology at UCT. Uh, Craig, <coughs> sorry, Craig Gersthausen from the Safety, Policing and Justice Program at Indy Puno Kwasi. Andrew Fall from the Center of Criminology at UCT. Good morning, Gronia Perkins. I'm a doctoral student at the Center of Criminology in UCT. Good morning, I'm Roxanne Jacob, a research psychologist from the South Africa Medical Research Center. Hi, I'm Sharon Johnston. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the psychology department at Stellenbosch University. Good morning, I'm Simon Winberg. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a bit of an oddball. <laughs> but, uh, I'm looking at ways that uh, data processing can help to reduce the crime, crime rate. Uh, morning, I'm Nancy Hornsby. I'm a scientist at the Violence and Injury Research Unit at the South African Medical Research Council. Good morning, I'm Jennifer Manicum, social worker and doing the master's clinical studies at, social, uh, at UCT. And I'm also part of the Victim Empowerment and Program. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Andrew Nichol. I'm a trauma surgeon, and I run the Frisco Hospital Trauma Center. Good morning. Sebastian van Aas, also a trauma surgeon. I work at the Red Cross Children's Hospital, and I'm also chair of Child Safe South Africa. Good morning. I'm, uh, my name is Adil Jabbar. I'm a PhD at the UCT School of Public Health. Good morning, I'm Amanda Bissell. I'm from the Department of Community Safety in the Policy and Research Directorate. I'm John Cartwright. I'm a lapsed medievalist um, and uh, <laughs> I'm an independent uh, consultant in, in public safety. Good morning, I'm Vanita Thompson. I'm the Director for Forensic Pathology in the Western Cape Government and Department of Health. And I'm also currently coordinating clinical forensic medicine services within the province. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. It's, uh, it's good to sort of find out where you all come from. I mean, I, I saw in the papers that we had some diversity, and it's even greater to hear we have even more diversity from across disciplines, from across faculties here. So I really look forward to the presentations and the conversations going forward. So without any further ado, I think we should actually kick off proceedings. If we can gain time now, then we have more time for discussion and presentations. So I'd like to invite the, the first panel to come up, please. Uh, Nancy Hornsby, Mandy Elbus, and Courtney Clark, if you'd like to come up to the table. Um, it's not the last you're hearing from me. I'm going to chair the session just to kind of kick things off. Um, and then after the session, we'll break for half an hour tea break. <laughs> 